Hello and welcome to the first lesson of this series, and as stated in the previous tutorial, this is going to be the planning part. We will discuss the plan of our game in this tutorial. And, as I said, planning is actually one of the most important parts of your game. The, the more descriptive, descriptive your plan is, the better your game's going to turn out. So that's why we're going through the trouble of making this plan. Now, the whole game starts with an idea. It starts with the magic idea. Without the idea, there's no game at all. So if you're creative, kind of think outside the box, and you think of some kind of idea, and you're, say, and you're saying, hey, I think this would make a great game, we should start with a plan. For us, there are three main sections. Now let's just let's just take a look. Graphics, sound, and programming. This is just let's concentrate on these three main sections. We're not going to test the game, we're not gonna just these three main sections. How we're gonna take care of the graphics? Well, for this purpose of this tutorial, I will make simple objects that are already like create cube and create sphere, objects that are already built in to the interface of Blitz 3D and can be created automatically and if you want to you can make your own graphics with Autodesk or Blender etc whatever modeling program you use for sound we are going to use Aviary's online music creator it's an online based music creator which is really cool and we're gonna use F SFX sorry for sounds well, Aviary's music creator we're going to use from little beats we're going to make to play behind the scenes of our game, you know. SFX sorry for main sounds like fire or die or win the game. Or another option is that you can use your own if you have like use Audacity or whatever other uh, audio software you can use or you use. And programming is that big of a topic that we're actually going to have to go to another different section because I can't fit it all in here. So, programming. Programming for us right now is probably divided into four main sections. It's divided into the part where we have collisions, the part where we have game logic, you know, where we move our player, where we kind of, you know, it's, it's all in this, in the wild loop practically. And the enemy AI, if you're probably going to ask me, what the hell is enemy AI? Well, enemy AI means enemy artificial intelligence. Probably going to say, okay, so what's artificial intelligence? Well, artificial intelligence is actually a concept commonly used in game programming. And it allows us to assign, like, the brain power of our enemy. For example, does he know where we're located? Does he know how to run fast? I mean... This, how much does he know about the situation he's in, the enemy? Does he know he needs to destroy you? Does he know he needs to get to the goal before you? It's practically his artificial intelligence. It's we, We're arming him with brain power. Think of it that way. And last but not least, uh, defining, creating, and setting up like all our constants creating our objects, kind of setting everything up, making it look nice. And lastly, which we're not going to have, is the physics. But in this case, the physics are handled for us because we are incredibly lucky to have Blitz 3D so it automatically handles all collisions for us. We just have to set them up. Uh, this will, tutorial will be continued in a part two.